everybody. What is up? Michelle here. Welcome back. So today I'm playing around with a product that I'm very excited about. I went to Ulta yesterday and this caught my eye. So I hope you guys are doing well. As always, we're going to go ahead and jump into this video. So we are talking about a lip plumper that is $20. So I hope this is good. This is from a brand I have never heard of before. I don't know anything about them. I'm probably going to butcher the name. Nebla? So it's N-E-B-L-A. The packaging is a very, like, very sexy packaging. So lip plumper, $20. You get 0.13 fluid ounces in here, which I think for a standard lip gloss, you're looking at a little more. So you're not getting a lot in here. But it says it's up to two hours um, that you're going to get plump lips. So the Viper Lip Plumper increases lip volume in just a few minutes. It has a blend of patented raw materials and natural origin ingredients. So this has caffeine, ginger, menthol, vitamin B3, and tripatide. One um, provides immediate and long-term plumping. Warning. You may experience a temporary sensation of heat and slightly intense tingling for use on lips only. If discomfort appears, remove immediately and refrain from further use. Keep away from children. So they had a bunch of other stuff. I actually went on Ulta's website and was looking around. They have beautiful eyeshadow palettes, um, but this is what the box looks like. So we are going to open her up. I'm really kind of nervous. I love lip plumpers, but like the last lip plumper I used was this little Essence um, Lips Go Wow. It's not that bad. It's like two bucks. Um, I obviously, you can tell I used it over a lip gloss and it's not, not that bad, but I just don't want a burning sensation. I don't care about a little bit tingle, but burning. Who wants burning? I don't want burning. Look how pretty that packaging is. I mean, kind of makes me a little more nervous that they went this far with it. Like, look at that. So you open her up and you wand it up. Ooh. Oh my God, I don't know. Here goes nothing. We're just, we're doing it. Okay, ready? Does it say how much to put on? All right, so we are gonna leave it alone and we are gonna see. Is it gonna look good? All right, we're gonna let that sit for a few minutes. It does say it takes up to a few minutes for you to feel anything. While we're doing that, I'm going to talk to you guys about my comment section. So I recently reached out to YouTube. So when I initially started my channel, I started filming videos and then eventually kind of took a little bit of a break. I logged out completely of my YouTube channel. And when I went back in, I recognized I used an email that um, I can feel something happening. Um, I used a YouTube or I used an email that I no longer use. I don't know a password for it. I have nothing of the sort. So anyways, I ended up switching, figuring out my email situation. And I was talking to someone over at YouTube and they 
basically what and how um, my channel, I did not do the comment section. Someone DM me and told me, oh, it's just a click of a button and your comments come back. So I tried that. That is why I reached out to YouTube and they are telling me that basically I'm a, on a, like a little suspension type thing because of my content and it not being appropriate for children. So I've been doing a little bit of research. I've been working a lot lately more than normal and um, working on my house. So I have limited time. I haven't uploaded a video in a minute, but so I don't know. I know my channel is not like it's definitely kid friendly. I think the only thing I do once in a while is I do have a bad mouth and I will cuss a few times, but I don't think it's anything crazy. So I'm still trying to work it out through YouTube and it's not been the most pleasant experience. I'm just saying that. So, um, the best thing I can tell you because I do want to make things happen is follow me on Instagram and make sure you're DMing me. It may take a minute because I switch my Instagram from public to private and I did that for a reason and that's a reason known to myself. But if you do that, DM me that you are following me because of YouTube and um, I will get a hold of you that way. I'm hoping that in the next couple of weeks my comment section will be back to normal because I don't think I've done anything wrong but that is the scoop on that so um all right I kind of want my 20 bucks back no I'm just kidding um I can tell a little bit of plumping I will say the experience is not bad I feel a little more of a tingle but nothing burning like it's not like when it said heat I'm like hmm. I'm gonna take a little bit more Like, I can tell the difference. Can you? Um, I don't think this is bad. I will say if you are someone that you don't like a heavy kind of tingle and you're a little bit nervous to try this, I think this is very similar. I don't think it's the same effect per se. Like, I definitely feel like my bottom lip is a lot bigger. Um, but what I'm saying to you is if you don't know what that tingle is going to be like and you're a little bit nervous and you don't want to spend up to 20 bucks, this was like $3 if that. And this actually does have, I think, a worse tingle than this. So if you're looking to try um, before spending 20 bucks, but I will be honest. That feels weird. I like it. I really, really do. I do see a slight difference in my lips, especially I have, to me, I have okay lips. If I line them properly and do a really good, like, um, juicy pigmented lip gloss, I can really go off very well and look like I have great lips. Um, but my bottom lip is cool. My top lip is obviously a little bit smaller. But I can feel it. Oh my god. In up to two hours, we're going to see about that. I'm going to go about my day. I will leave it in the description box Um, what I think. But I think... This is definitely worth it. I love the packaging. Um, I love the box it came in. Um, it doesn't hurt. Um, you know, sometimes I remember using the Too Faced injections and I had the worst morning. Not because of the burning, but I licked my lips and then like I just felt all day long that my um, throat was on fire. It was horrible. I actually was like so terrified because I thought I was getting COVID like 
it was a bad morning. I thought, I'm like, oh my God, I'm getting a sore throat, blah, blah, blah. Nothing tasted great. I didn't know what it was and I figured out what it was. It was from Too Faced. So, but this, I can tell. So definitely go check out this brand. Um, I'm very curious now to try out one of their eyeshadow palettes or something else that they have. If you're interested in that, thumbs up this video and I will definitely go check it out. Their eyeshadow palettes are a little bit up there in price. They're $39, but they had a really nice selection online. So next time I'm at Ulta, I will definitely check out what else they have. But this has really good reviews on Ulta.com and almost has five stars. So I actually really enjoy this. Definitely go pick one up. Um, get, you can get it at Ulta.com. You can also get it in Ulta stores now. So look how dope that packaging is though. This is so pretty. I'm definitely going to be using it a lot. Um, again, I will leave it in the description box if it gets any bigger or if it lasts for two hours um i am going to be eating so i don't know if that will affect it you know taking a little bit of the product off is that going to affect it is that going to make it better what is it going to do so i will definitely leave everything down below and then also the information down below in order to get this product thank you guys so much for spending a little bit of time with me hope you guys are doing well um as always don't forget to subscribe if you're not already Definitely hit the like button. I would appreciate it. And I will see everybody very soon, you guys, in my next video. Bye, guys.